where will pickleball be in the next 10 years? I see pickleball definitely being on the main live streams of sports, you know, stations, you know, ESPN one and two. I would, I definitely see more professional players coming in and a lot of young guns are coming in. Um, I think the growth is going to be so big, so big where tournaments are going to be every weekend. Major events are going to be every weekend across the world. You know, I think there that it's going to exp expand glo globally, um, which it is right now, but it's going to continue to get bigger across the world. And who knows, you know, pickleball, maybe not in 10 years, but in the future may become a, an Olympic event. You know, I yeah. know it has to go across X amount of countries to get approved, but you know, once it continues to grow, Hey, Anthony, maybe one day we'll see it in the Olympics. Yeah. And I, you know, uh, I, I led you with that one cause I is exactly where I want, where I wanted you to go. I read there's quite a bit of controversy at that. A lot of, a lot of differences, opinions. Um, you know, I'm not going to launch an opinion, but Hey, three on three basketball is now an Olympic sport. So, right. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I mean, Hey, three on three basketball is even a professional event now. You yeah. know, there are, is it three V three or big three, or I know yeah, there's big, kind of a, big three, uh, the ice cube league. Yes. Uh, I'm not sure what happened to that because of COVID, but yeah, that was a thing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so, um, I definitely see more, you know, it, it might be a mer There might be a merger, you know, there's two kind of separate pickleball events. I would say right yeah. now, if there may continue to grow with more tours or there might be a whole unit, a whole single, you know, tour professional league for the future. You know, I think we'll see um, what happens in the next 10 years, but I know you'll be definitely playing on the tour. After yeah. the tour. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be, you'll get the bug. And I, I, I know that this podcast is going to take you to your next professional career. Oh man, that's a great way to, <laughs> <laughs> that's a great way to, the, you know, the last thing I was going to say is as soon as DraftKings starts handicapping pickleball events, which may already be happening. Who knows? Then it's, then it's bona fide. That's then, a black then, market. Yeah. Black market so, better. Yes. As soon as people start laying wagers on the pickleball matches, then uh, we, we, we know it's, it's, it's in for, uh, for big things. Right. <laughs> All right, Calvin, uh, I really appreciate your time. Super interesting. I hope you guys enjoy the show. Uh, hit subscribe, please. And um, stay tuned for more exciting content. Calvin, thanks again. Have a great night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hey folks. Thanks for tuning in. If you like the show, please subscribe, like, and share. And we love to hear from you. If you have a question about today's show, or you, a loved one, or maybe your favorite athlete has sustained a sports medicine injury that you would like to know more about, please reach out to us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or email. And stay tuned for more exciting content from the Sports Medicine Orthopod. Thanks again.